Hey, welcome to another tutorial from Photoshop is Fun. Now today what we're going to do is a two-step process to whiten and brighten teeth. It doesn't require a lot of, uh, you know, photographer theory or background and history. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into doing it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get a good selection on his teeth. And that way you can reuse it uh, for each step in this process and you get good, clean, consistent results. So zoom in on his teeth. You can use the magnification tool or in my case I'm going to do uh, control one to get in there on what appears to be a very hairy young beast. And then I'm going to select my um, quick selection tool here. And there's other selection tools within Photoshop. This is the one I like to use um, when I'm working with teeth. It seems to work most of the time. And then you just click on each of the teeth and Photoshop will do the work to look for the contrasting edges um, to figure out what it is you want to select. And he's got an overbite, so I'm going to click over here as well. And just so you know, if, if Photoshop happens to go outside of the intended area um, that you selected or you, you click outside of that area, let's just say the gums, for example, all you have to do is hold down the Alt key and then you can see the cursor changes to a minus sign and then just click in that area that you didn't intend to select and Photoshop will try and figure it out for you. And most of the time it works pretty well. Okay, so I've selected most of his teeth here. I have a pretty good selection. And what I'm going to do now is I want to feather those edges so that they don't look really harsh. So I'm going to go up to Select and then down to Modify and then Feather. And 5 uh, is perfect for this resolution of photo. And you'll just have to figure out with yours what you need. Um, and then I clicked OK. Now I have a good selection. And what I want to do is create a mask so that I could reuse this selection for each of the steps. So I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm just simply going to click uh, Create Layer Mask, which is this icon right here. And now, whenever I click um, Control and then on this black uh, thumbnail, the selection will um, come back and I can reuse it. So the next thing we want to do is remove the yellows from his teeth. And to do that, we're going to create a Hue and Saturation Adjustment Layer. And we've already got um, his teeth were selected, so they automatically will mask out when we create this layer. And you can see over here in the um, thumbnail that where the white area is, that means we've localized or isolated our selection to just his teeth. Now, you can see up here in the master dropdown, I have all of my colors, my reds, my yellows, etc. And what I want to do is select my yellows. And now you can see that um, I can remove the yellows by uh, turning my saturation down. Now typically you want to go down to somewhere between negative 40 and negative 55, 60 ish. Um, it just kind of depends on how yellow the teeth are. In this instance, I'm going to go down to probably about 45, 46, 47 here. And um, you can see that already we've made a dramatic improvement. Now if I turn off the layer, let me go ahead and close this for a minute. If I turn off the layer, you'll see the difference. And right away, you can see that the yellows have been removed. And again, I can go further um, by desaturating even more, but you get to a point where it starts to look gray scale in nature. And uh, so you want to find that fine line for your photograph. Um, but that's how you remove the yellows from the teeth. Okay, so let's wrap this up by brightening his teeth. So we need our teeth selection again so go ahead and hold down the control key and then click either one of these black thumbnails and that'll give us our teeth selection back with the marching ants here and um, then what we want to do is create a new adjustment layer called brightness and contrast and we're going to go ahead and close the um, properties panel because we don't use that in this particular step but what we are going to do is change the blending mode we're going to change it to screen. Now, if you want to have a lot of fun, you can do um, color burn, and that'll make his teeth really gnarly. So if you're doing some kind of zombie photo or something like that, you can um, definitely uh, leverage this technique, but a different blending mode to get the um, exact opposite effect, actually. Um, but instead, what we want to do is go ahead and select screen, which will give us the brighter look. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out. And you can either use your magnification tool or you can use control um, minus sign to zoom out. And this is how I'm going to dial in the whiteness because obviously that doesn't look natural. It looks um, very spooky, quite frankly. Um, and if you go up here to your opacity for this particular layer, you can dial it down. And I'm going to say probably about uh, 20 to 25 is where I want to get it. And let's just go ahead and go with um, 25. And that looks a lot more natural. So if I turn it on and off, you can see the difference here. So that is the whiten and brighten technique. I'm going to show you the um, before and after. So here's the before. 
and there's the after when we're done. And again, how bright you want the teeth is completely dependent upon you and the photograph that you took and how yellow that person's teeth are, etc. cetera. Um, but just play around with the technique. I think you'll really like it for doing both teeth and it also works for eyes, um, the whites of someone's eyes. So play around with it, uh, use it against some of your photographs and happy photoshopping.